Okay, first things first. If you like me, but don't like Google, I have now a Vidme account. I have most of my new videos in there. Be sure to follow me at vid.me. Link is in the description. During this project I fucked up many times, so here's a quick rundown of the procedure or how it should have gone, and then we will continue to the part one of what actually happened. First, get the reagents, sodium hydroxide and sand. Clean the sand by sieving and maybe using an acid to get the acid soluble parts out. Dissolve reagents and boil the water out so that there is as much contact area as possible between reagents. Once dry, heat above 320 degrees Celsius. Once cooled down, leach the sodium silicate using water. Filter the water. Add acid till the silicic acid precipitates out. After neutralizing the acid, dry everything in an oven. Leach out water-soluble parts like sodium salts, etc. Then put the solids in high heat and dry it. Now that you know how it should have gone, let's go through what I actually did. The future me will inject commentary whenever needed, but I'll let past me handle most of the explaining. But if you only wanted the procedure, you may quit now. Hello YouTube. I am going to try to synthesize sodium silicate using sand that I stole from local playground, some sodium hydroxide, that's most likely uh, 60 to 90 percent pure. I have no idea what the rest of it is. Most likely sodium chloride. And yeah, that's about it. First set of business will be trying to get rid of uh, any larger part particulate and organic matter that may be in the sand. So I'm going to have my bowl ready. Then I'm going to take a strainer and try to get a bit of the sand going through and not on the floor, which I already seem to have done. The sand is a bit wet, so it likes to stick to itself. That's why it's going to take a while. Here's what I managed to take out of this, and this is, while well, it's a bit wet, or damp actually, it's still fairly fine powder, and it should work quite well with this. Next I am going to dry the sand in an oven. I'm going to take the sand and just dump it on this paper. and try to even it out a bit, so that there's uh, as much area as possible exposed to the air, which will aid in drying it. Okay, time to cook the sand. I put the oven in a bit over 100 Celsius. You Americans can go Google that. How much that is in Fahrenheit, because I'm not going to bother making the doing the math. I'm having hard enough time trying to speak English. Anyways, let's wait an hour or two and see what happens. Now I have this slightly warm but dry sand, and I'm going to put it into this container. 